minus 70 seconds. SOC, hydraulics internal. Internal. T minus 60 T minus seconds. one minute and counting. CDR, T minus 60 second limits on. On. Water flow. T minus 45 seconds. LCDR, launch enabled to flight. 100% lock. ATC3, main power disabled on. On. T minus 35 seconds. Hydraulics are go. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Lock stopping and work. T minus 13. Green board. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Go for main engine start. One, zero, and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with NOAA in prime, continuing the legacy of data for the weather forecasts of today into the future. seconds into the flight. All continuing to look good. Coming up on 36 seconds. Mach 1, vehicle now going at the speed of sound. Pressure's beginning to trail off on the solids. Coming up on 50 seconds. 50 seconds. Area of max Q, or maximum dynamic pressure. Chamber pressures in the 1, 2, and 3 solids are beginning to trail off. We have burnout of the three solids. We'll be holding on to those solids for about another 15, 20 seconds or so as we're looking for a good drop-off point. Passing one minute, 12 seconds into the flight. One twenty-five, about 10 seconds now before we drop off the solids. The two 12.5 nautical miles. Downrange distance 10.9 nautical miles, velocity a little over 1,040 miles per hour. And we have separation of the groundlet solid motors from the vehicle. Passing one minute, 50 seconds into the flight. The Delta II vehicle now only weighs about one half of what it did at launch about one minute, 57 seconds ago. Now passing two minutes, our altitude now 19.9 nautical miles, downrange distance 5.8 nautical miles, velocity 1,543 miles per hour. This is the telemetry lab here at the Mission Directors Center here at Vandenberg. The engine and vernier chamber pressures continuing to look good right in the expected range. Engine uh, pitch and yaw control and vernier engine pitch and yaw control well within our ability to control. Steering. Coming up on uh, two minutes, 35 seconds into the flight. Up two minutes now until Miko. Continuing to look good. We're passing two minutes, 50 seconds, altitude 30.6 nautical miles, or downrange distance 18.8 .8 nautical miles, velocity 3,254 miles per hour. In three minutes now. And reviewing our uh, solid motor uh, burnout time and separations time, very close to the anticipated times. Passing three minutes, 17 seconds into the flight. Altitude now, 35.6 nautical miles. Downrange distance, 43.4 nautical miles. Velocity, 4,703 miles per hour. Thing. Three minutes, 30 seconds. Good main engine chamber pressures, good vernier chamber pressures. Less than one minute until Miko. Mm -hmm. 
Three minutes, 50 seconds of the flight. Main engine, uh, pitch and yaw control and vernier control, very stable now. Engine pressure, chamber pressures on the uh, main and the uh, vernier engines, still rock solid. Passing now through 45.4 nautical miles. Downrange distance 104 nautical miles. Velocity 7,950 miles per hour. About 20 seconds now until Miko. We have Miko standing by for SEP. Separation. And we have ignition on the second stage. Second stage chamber pressures continuing to go up. Steady state value. It's Delta flight commentary at uh, 58 minutes, 50 seconds into the flight, less than 30 seconds before the second burn. Standing by for the burn. And we have ignition. Good steady state chamber pressure. We have SECO. Separation. And Prime uh, spacecraft is now uh, separated from the second stage. Joining us here at the console in the Mission Director Center at Vandenberg Air Force Base is Omar Vias, who was our NASA Launch Director and NASA Launch Manager for tonight's countdown. And uh, Omar, tell us uh, how did the flight look to you? How did the countdown look? How did the flight look? The flight uh, was just awesome. Uh, we're, we hit the orbit right on the money. Uh, the uh, apogee, perigee, and inclination of, of the uh, spacecraft looks right where we wanted it. Um, the count, uh, you know, with the NOAA launch, we've, we've always had a tough time. Uh, came in this, uh, today in a couple of rainstorms around. Um, we had uh, concern with uh, thick clouds, cumulus clouds, uh, and upper-level winds, and we're violating all three of those uh, parameters as we walked in. Had a couple of problems starting up um, the count with our uh, front-end processors. Um, on our um, control data and processing systems on the uh, uh, ground control. So it was one of those uh, uh, launch attempts where there's a lot going on at the uh, very beginning uh, to, to make it rough, and things started to smooth out as we went along, and, and the weather held up. Uh, we didn't get rained on as we were expecting, and uh, the upper-level winds calmed down quite a bit, and we were able to get it off. First, first try of the uh, very beginning of the window. Well, Omar, thank you very much, and uh, of course, congratulations. We all feel uh, wonderful about the launch, knowing that uh, the weather had really set in for several days, and uh, to have drawn the right card at the right time here tonight uh, certainly is a good, good feeling for everyone, I'm sure. Absolutely, George. Thank you very much, Omar, and we'll see you back at the Cape for Kepler. Thanks for having us.